Hello everybody, what's going on? This is Andrew, and I am back today with some more Historic. Um, today's deck is a little spicier, a little different <laughs> than what we played yesterday. Yesterday, really straightforward, green-red aggro deck. Today, this pile of cards, um, it's first and foremost a ramp deck that plays Line of Elves, Paradise Druid, and Risen Reef to get ahead on mana. Then, it uses Planeswalkers like Tamiyo and Jace, Builder of Mysteries, to accumulate value. Cavalier of Thorns is an, another great piece to this puzzle. It's an elemental, so it goes with Risen Reef, and it just is a huge body. It can win you the games, it can draw you, draw you lands. It's a great card. The rest of the deck is a little weirder. Um, so we've got Unburial Rights here. Now, this card's cool in this deck. Because the way Tamiyo and Cavalier of Thorns draw you cards is by putting a bunch of other cards in your graveyard. So, there's a good chance that you can use Unburial Rites out of your graveyard for cheap, and basically for free, because you're just flipping over other cards when you're casting your Cavalier of Thorns or when you're Tamioing for something specific. Jace is also milling cards. So then we've got Lear here, who is... <laughs> going to be casting spells out of our graveyard, which is also kind of cool. But the... I, I, I know some of you are looking at this white card over here and being like, what is going on with Gideon's Sacrifice? Well, Gideon's Sacrifice combos with Command the Dreadhorde. So Command the Dreadhorde is a six mana sorcery that lets you pick up any number of cards in your graveyard, creatures or planeswalkers, bring them back to the battlefield, but you take damage from this card equal to the combined mana value of all of those cards. Okay, usually you take a lot of damage doing something like this. But if you use Gideon's Sacrifice, <laughs> if you already have something on the battlefield and you do that, and then you use Gideon's Sacrifice to target that thing, all of the damage that Command the Dreadhorde would deal to you is instead dealt to this other thing. So you can get back all the things with Command the Dreadhorde. So that's cute. I've played this deck a couple times to, to get ready for, for this video, and I've never pulled off the combo, but it's a cute little combo. Um, Jace is also a win condition. You're milling through so much of your deck by using Cameo and Cavalier of Thorns and, and drawing cards and whatever that just jacing yourself is a win condition. Uh, and that's something I need to remember playing through the videos today and something I didn't really uh, take full advantage of when I was testing this deck out. Uh, the sideboard's super straightforward. We've got Mystical Disputes for blue decks, Ritual of Sits for creature decks, Blood Chief's Thirst for cr creature decks, and Cerulean Drakes for red decks. That's it. <laughs> no matter how we sideboard, we're still just playing this like Big mid rangey plan with the combo finish, um, and and that's it. <laughs> that's the deck. Uh, so we're gonna hop into a couple of matches and see if we can pull off the combo. Getting into our first match here against Tarek. Let's do this thing. A good opening hand looks nothing like this. <laughs> we want at least some. Um, I guess we have Paradise Root here, but, you know, the, the double Jaces is basically a mulligan anyways. This is a lot better. We've got Lands, we've got Risen Reef. Uh, we're going to keep this. I think I'm going to put back one of the Lands. Between these three Lands, we have all the colors we need, so I'm just going to put the Triome back for now. A breeding Pool on one, Cemetery on two. Just kidding. Didn't I put you on the bottom of the deck? <laughs> okay, they played Triome and Harvest. Um, I'm still learning what decks are popular in this post-ban world, so I'm not sure what we're looking at here. And they're not giving us much information. They're drawing a lot of lands. And doing not a lot else. Um, 
I can just play this, right? Yeah. Just keep it slow. Nice. Uh, since I drew this, I'm definitely not attacking. Next turn, I want to use Paradise Druid for mana to cast my Cav of Thorns. And they're just continuing to do nothing. Okay. Uh, let's shock this. Let's cast Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, we'll do the Risen Reef trigger first. Draw a card. Cool. Get a land. Flipping two Assassin's Trophies into the bin is actually kind of nice. Yeah, sure. Because now Lear has something to do. So next turn we can either Cav of Thorns and hold up the Assassin's Trophy in our hand. Or we can play Lear and get access to these trophies in the graveyard. Innkeeper, nothing. Um, Let's start out by attacking. I assume our opponent's up to no good. I just don't know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, yep, we'll put that under the battlefield. We already have a white land, so we'll just get this triome. Then I think we're just chilling. I want to hold up the Assassin's Trophy. Star of Extinction. Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, so I think I'm gonna do one of these things. I guess I don't know what I'm picking up, though. The Risen Reef? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's put a Risen Reef on top of our deck, and we'll not do the second one. So decline this one, take action on that one. Draw the Risen Reef. Play the Risen Reef. Okay, found a command, the Dread Horde. You would make an excellent informant. Do I just grab the Gideon Sacrifice? Or do I need to grab one of my white lands? <laughs> um, let's see, I'm at 16. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, let's grab the Gideon Sacrifice. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the thing, but we're going to try to do the thing. Arch of Orozka, yep. Okay. Oh, I didn't need to pick this up because I have the Leer. I should have picked up a, a White Land. Well, that's okay. I can just do like a baby Command the Dread Horde this turn, right? Um, so I get back a Tamiyo. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I can get their innkeeper too. Yeah, we're gonna do that, because that's gonna gain us life. It's basically free. And this, 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 and an elf. Yeah. Then we'll gain a bunch of life because of the innkeeper. Found white land. Cool. And we'll take another white land. Yep. And now. I'll just plus four command the Dread Horde. To the library. Cool. It's a nice little turn. Undid all of our opponent's uh, Stars of Extinctioning. 
Gonna destroy my Cavalier of Thorns. Yep. Do I even want to exile it? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Pool of vigorous growth. Sure. Um, just say Command the Dreadhorde again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm just going to cast this Unburial Rites on my Cavalier of Thorns again. Get life, get some triggers. There's my Command the Dread Horde. I've also got a Jace in the graveyard now. So now I can just combo win next turn, I think. So I'll just play some Elves. Attack for some damage. And pass. And then next turn I think I get the combo win. So this thing creates a token that's a copy of a random creature card with the, with whatever mana value they pump into it. So they can make a big thing. I just hope the big thing doesn't kill me. X equals 8, yep. And raise 4 runners. I can just trophy that. It could have killed the pool, but I wanted them to waste all their mana. Oh, are they gonna let me do the thing? Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the command, the dread horde. Um, they're tapped out, right? So I can go Gideon's Sacrifice on one of my elves. And then Command the Dreadhorde. Choose all the things. Most importantly, the Jace. Yeah, and the elf took 34 damage. I get all of these triggers. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got to do the thing. Yep. 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 <laughs> oh, this is great. There's the other Jace. Yep. Yep. Uh, you mill to my draw card? <laughs> yes! We did it! We did it the first time, that's awesome. Um, so they were like a Jund control ramp deck? I think we just hit submit. Like the mystical disputes? Starve Extinction doesn't target me. The disputes could be just like three mana counter spells. But I don't know what I'd cut. I'm just gonna hit submit. We're just gonna combo them out again. Well, that was perfect, and I think that a deck like our opponents is the best matchup for our deck.
we do we go bigger than a lot of other mid-range decks. So other controlling mid-range decks, I think, should just get destroyed by us. Um, so we'll see if they have a little bit more disruption or something this time, but if they're just heads down trying to do their thing and we're heads down trying to do our thing, I think our thing is going to be faster. This hand looks good. No elf on one is kind of annoying. Oh, just kidding. Ooh, Jace. Okay. Here's a Risen Reef. Yep, I'd love to take the action. I love this card. I think Risen Reef is so much fun. Our opponent has a Celestis. Cool. Um, I think it's time for Tamio. So I think we'll go Tamio. Play a Triome. And I want a plus for Cavalier of Thorns. And yeah, we'll attack. We'll get in there. I think Cavalier of Thorns is often the thing you plus for at first. Um, now we have an Assassin's Trophy we can grab if we want to kill the Celestis or if they play their pool thing. Extinction event for Odd. Oh no. I think that's still fine. We'll still look for Cavalier of Thorns. Didn't find it. That's okay. I think we just played Jace. So we'll mill us, draw a card, cool. We found some cavaliers. There's one in the bin, one in my hand, now I can plus for command the dread horde. Captain Lannery Storm? What? That's not what I expected. <laughs> I guess they want to make treasures? Yeah, sure. And then they'll just shoot Jace, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, so we found the calf, so we could, we'll just play calf. We'll put a Godless Shrine onto the battlefield. We'll play this other Triome. And then, yeah, I think I just want to plus for Command the Dread Horde. I think you will find my name. No command, but I found an Umburial Rites and I have a Leer in my bin. I have both Leers in my bin. And an, there's an Assassin's Trophy in there. Yep, I'll block. I'm not scared. Oh, they couldn't say odd because they had <laughs> Lannery Storm. It's kind of funny. And they're just activating Celestis? Sure. If I draw Command the Dread Horde, I'm just good to go. No luck yet. Still think that's the card I want. Mm, can't find it. Alright, so what's the play now? Unburial rights, my other cav. Unburial rights, the leer. If I do the leer... Oh, I can't leave white mana up. So yeah, let's just Imburial Rites my Cav. Okay, there's a Command the Dread Horde. I'll just run out some creatures here. 
they get to loot again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm. So I can actually do do the thing next turn. Jeez, they're just making all my things go extinct. But if they can't deal with Tamio, then I can use this Tamio to down tick and pick up the command. Play this Tamio, down tick, pick up Gideon's sacrifice. Oh wait, no, I needed that elf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, not enough mana to do all of the, the things. But there's only like... Not a lot of cards left in my deck, so I think I'll just plus for a command the Dreadhorde. If I draw it, I can do it. Nope, not this turn. <laughs> Um, can I just set up the win for next turn? Like, Unburial writes this other Cavalier that I just found. And then I have this Tamio to get Jace. Yep, no attacks. Go. They have to kill Tamio. And then they have to have an instant speed removal spell for Jace. And they need to not die to my creatures. My creatures will kill them in two turns. Cool. I'm glad we got off to a win with this deck. I was having trouble finding wins against like small creature decks the other day. There's two Jaces in my bin, right? Yeah. Put one on top of my deck. Our opponent's just dead. They just tapped all their mana for us. Jace. Yay, we did it! <laughs> nice. So that's what this deck does. It kind of asks a lot of questions. All right. Second match with this ramp combo deck. We'll go first. Uh, yeah, the sand looks good. It's not like amazing or anything, but we've got a ramp creature and we've got a bunch of removal. And we're playing against elves, huh? Well, the removal should be good here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll say no blocks. I'm passing. I want them to like cap their mana to do something with the War Master. Yeah, I think I trophy the War Master. And then I'm gonna trophy the Arch Druid too. <laughs> well, we'll get to see our sideboard do something this game. That. Okay, no attacks. Let's 
six mana. Realm Walker on Elf. And Elvish Clan Caller, sure. Hmm, do I block this one? I kind of think I block this time. If I find a land, I'll just command the Dreadhorde? Oh no. Worst possible draw. Um. I think I'll just play the Leer. This can find more clan callers, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jeez, opponent. <laughs> yep, that gets to attack me, no blocks. Okay. Um, no attacks, go. Just gonna try to tread water a bit, kill some more stuff, and then hopefully I can command the Dread Horde at some point, and uh, I'll be the elf deck. Hmm, that one's scary. There's nothing I can do about it though. So I think I just say no blocks. I Gideon sacrifice the Line of War Elves. Rip, little elf. Um, then we'll Assassin's Trophy the Allosaurus Shepherd. But now we're even further away. Like having to sacrifice the elf there probably means we're not winning this game. Yeah. Let's go to sideboard games. All of those come in. I think I take out the sacrifices here. Um, I just don't think we're going to get into a position where I want to be doing that. And I think I need to leave like the rest of the top end in. I'm going to trim the Llanowar Elves. And like cut a leer. Yeah. Let's try it like that. I haven't quite figured out what I'm supposed to be taking out of the deck. Um, sometimes I've been cutting the command the dread hordes, but I think I think I'm supposed to leave some of them in just for like value stuff. This hand looks good. Hand looks really good, actually. You know, I'm probably supposed to keep one Gideon Sacrifice in the deck, so that as I'm, like, going off, I can actually, I can actually do the thing. Yeah. I'll fix that. If, if we get a game three, if I can overpower the elf, the elf menace here, um, I'll fix that for the next game. Thorns was a great draw. Like, this hand looks very well set up to, to do a thing. I actually think I just ignore that for now. Like, of course, War Master is a good card, and I want to be able to deal with it, but... Just making more 1-1s, one like, they'll just die the, to the Ritual of Sit, and I'm going to need to find a Ritual of Sit. Okay, this is actually kind of a slow start for our opponent. So 
So I can Blood Chief's Thirst the War Master. I think I'm just going Tamiyo uh, plus for Ritual of Soot. Rituals of Soot off the top. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I've got another chance to find it, so... I don't know why our opponent's going all in here when they know I have a ritual that I'm looking for. Okay. Ritual of Soot. Nope. <laughs> um, if I block this, I'm taking 4, 8, 11, 14, 17. Yeah, I'm super dead. Cool. Yeah, no Ritual of Soot anywhere. Oh well, I saw a lot of cards and tried to find a sideboard card. Couldn't do it. I think if I if I get to ritual sit this turn, I feel like we're in a great spot, right? Like I have a Tamio in play on four. I play a tap I play like Overgrown Tune tapped. And then next turn I can play Cab of Thorns plus Blood Chief's Thirst their follow-up play. And then like start working up towards the command of the Dread Horde. Yeah. Not finding a ritual of soot in forty in the top twenty cards is a little unlucky, but that's how it goes sometimes. Well, we saw the highs with this deck and the lows with this deck. Um, so against the elf deck there, that's what I'd been running into um, when I was practicing this deck. Uh, I just kept getting run over by the small creatures, and I wasn't sure what to do about it. I think step one is like cutting one of these cerulean drakes. And putting in another Ritual of Soot. The Sweeper seems super important. And yeah, you can uh, keep recasting them with Tamiyo and Leer. But still, uh, I haven't boarded in the Cerulean Drake at all yet. I think I want another Ritual of Soot in the graveyard, or in the sideboard. Um, and then the rest of the main deck, you can't really wiggle with too much. Like, you can mess with the Assassin's Trophies. And the Imperial Rites are kind of extra. And so are the Leers, I guess. The rest of it's like, you need to play the rest of this deck as is, basically. So there's not a lot of room to, to customize it. But this deck is super fun. Um, building up towards a giant Command the Dread Horde, where you just get to get back all the things, <laughs> is super fun. So give the deck a spin. Tell me what you think. Um, I think you struggle against small creatures, and I think that you're pretty good against most mid-range decks. So that's that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you next time.